This is a demonstration to show you the inverse square law using a Crookes radiometer. To show this demo, we have our detector, which is our Crookes radiometer. We have a light source, which is um, a 500 watt bulb. We have placed the 500 watt bulb on a variac so we can um, vary the intensity of the bulb to see how that affects our um, results. We have a meter stick so that we can measure the distance between our detector and our light source. We have a blocking plate to put in front of the light source so that it does not um, interfere with the viewing of our radiometer. And we have a stopwatch to count the number of rotations that the Crookes radiometer makes in a given amount of time to give us an intensity value. The Crookes radiometer is a device that has a partial vacuum within the glass envelope. Inside the envelope is a set of vanes that is mounted on a pivot that is allowed to rotate in response to an incoming flux. As the flux from the light source strikes the gas molecules within our Crookes radiometer, they become excited. The gas within here will create a pressure difference between just in front of the black veins to just in front of the white veins. This pressure difference will uh, supply a small amount of momentum to the veins of the radiometer, causing them to rotate. The speed in which they rotate is directly proportional to the incoming flux from our light source. So the brighter the light source, the faster the uh, radiometer will spin, and in, and in reverse, the weaker the light source, the slower the radiometer will spin. Now to show you the inverse square law, we place our radiometer at the end of our meter stick and we will place our light source at different distances from our radiometer. We will time them and then compare the results. To begin with, we are going to place our light source one meter from our detector and then we will count the number of rotations that occur in 15 seconds. When we have done that, we will then move our light source half the distance from our radiometer and hopefully see an increase in the number of rotations about four times the original value. So let's go ahead and see if we can observe that. We are about to time the number of rotations that occur in 15 seconds when our light source is placed one meter from our Crookes radiometer. We will count the number of rotations in three two, one, go. One, two, about three rotations in 15 seconds when we had it separated by one meter. Now we are gonna move our light half as far away to 50 centimeters and we will repeat our experiment. First we're going to let the Crookes radiometer stabilize we're going to begin counting in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we have thirteen rotations in fifteen seconds. If we go ahead and review our results, we know the definition, the intensity of the light that is impinging on our detector will be proportional to one over the distance separating our source to our um, detector. And based on our results, when we were one meter away from our detector, we observed approximately three rotations. When we decreased the distance by a half, we saw an increase in the intensity, which was approximately four times the amount, which is exactly what we should expect. Of course, this is an experiment, so it is not exactly four times, but it is relatively close within tolerable um, error.